Today on Garden Fork, the best stovetop pizza ever. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, stovetop pizza. What? I love it. Absolutely love it. You love anything with the word pizza in it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> we have a bunch of pizza making videos. We also have a video about how to make your own portable, do-it-yourself brick pizza oven. Don't do that inside. Links are below and at the end of the show. Um, and this this idea has been around, I don't want to say I invented it, but a lot of times you see people wanting to make pizza on a fry pan and they use like a piece of pita bread. It just doesn't work. But you know what does work? Tortillas. Have you done this before? Uh, no. I was reminded of this by Kenji of Cirrus Eats who recently did a post on their site about it. And I was like, well, let's just share with the audience and see what they think. Super simple. Five minutes done, you're out. Dinner. Adventure. Yeah. We live in a part of Brooklyn that has a huge uh, Mexican and Latino population, so I literally walked down to the corner and bought tortillas. But even Walmart sells tortillas now. So go down to your local store, get some tortillas. The key thing is, is that the tortillas fit in your fry pan, okay? For pizza sauce, you can buy pre-made pizza sauce. I just like some crushed or pureed tomatoes with some Italian seasoning and a little salt. That's my sauce for pizzas. Easy peasy. Why mix? They're good tomatoes, or organic tomatoes, good tasting, they work. Some good olive oil, uh, the stuff you buy at the grocery store. We know, don't buy the cheap stuff, yeah. we know, we know. And then whatever kind of ingredients you want here. I've got some uh, sun-dried tomatoes, mm -hmm. I've got some uh, dried salami, mm -hmm. I've got some fresh mozzarella, and some uh, pecorino romano here. Yum. It's really, you know, whatever you got, literally this is what we had in the fridge. Light your stove. Heat up your cast iron. So you can see here, I got the tortillas. Oh, actually, I bought several size tortillas, and these fit really nicely in there. You didn't measure your pan first? I didn't bring the pan and I didn't measure it. That's, you know me, I don't, I think of that afterward. I do know. Yeah, but I got a couple different sizes, so we're gonna be a lot of, eat a lot of tortillas for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, heat up your pan, vegetable oil, and we want that till it's shimmering. While we're waiting for it to shimmer. A little bit too much oil I put in here, okay? So, just pour some of that out. Now? Okay, so that's nice and shimmery. I'm just gonna kinda dab out the excess oil. And now we're gonna turn the heat down because we've got this thing nice and hot. I learned this from the Cirrus Eats uh, site. If you have a tortilla with like kind of a little bubble pattern here and a bigger bubble pattern here. Take the little bubble, put it here. So this goes in for our sauce, some tomatoes, seasoning, a little bit of salt. Mozzarella goes down. Now it's popping. You can also use the cheater mozzarella, the kind that's grated already. You don't want to cover the whole surface with mozzarella. This is the Romano cheese. That is good cheese too. I'm going to add in the sun-dried tomatoes. Not a lot. Some of our dried salami. At this point, we need to cook the top of the pizza as well, right? Yeah. There's two ways we can do this. You can either get a lid and go on like that. But what works better is turn on your broiler and stick this in. This is why we're using cast iron or one of those big Calphalon pans. Don't use your nonstick for this. This, which smells amazing, goes in there three minutes. There you go. Three minutes. Let's go watch the Labradors. For three minutes? Yeah. Barely get started in three minutes. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> 
Alright. Ah, it's a beautiful thing. Wow. Wow. You see how it's spilled out? That's okay. That's why we're using cast iron. I mean, ideally the tortilla would fit right to the edge, but I'm going to slide this puppy out of here. Right I'm going to run the spatula underneath it. The live audience is here. Nice crust underneath. Is it hot? A little warm. That's pretty good. And easy. Yeah. That was really easy. So, super easy, stove top pizza, really nice, huh? Looks good. We put out shows like this every week. If you want to hit the subscribe button, I think it's this way. Um, and also check out, you can get our email newsletter. There's a link up here as well for that. And if you want more pizza videos, link down there and at the end of the show. Tell us what you think. I always want to hear from you guys. You have some ideas of ingredients we can put on here, different ways to cook the tortilla pizza. Let me know, all right?